Welcome to my video. I'm your host Asian MMA. Today I have a question from a, a viewer. That's yeah. Shit. Welcome to my video. I'm your host Asian MMA. Today my topic is from a video viewer of mine. Uh, his name is Brandon Hines or Hins. Pretty sure it's Hines. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to start taking in questions on uh, MMA. So if you want to send me a message on YouTube, feel free. Uh, whenever I don't have a topic of myself, I will answer one of your guys' questions. Keep MMA related. Uh, that's my own, only rule. And I'll pick the most interesting one and talk about it. And uh, today we have uh, the ultimate fighter question from Brandon. Uh, he asked, do you watch it? Uh, but before I go into that, I'm going to say, man... The idea behind uh, the Ultimate Fighter, it's it's a very good one. Uh, personally, I think of it as a ripoff of uh, Tough Enough, which is uh, the WWE's version of the Ultimate Fighter. But the reason why it failed was because they had real athletes competing against each other for a WWE contract. But it doesn't work like that because to be a really good professional wrestler, you have to have the athletic skills and the mic skills because if you can't talk you're not a good wrestler man because the one key thing that makes you a really good professional wrestler is to get the audience emotionally attached to your character that you're playing so if you can't talk in the first place it's great that you can run 100 meters really fast it's great you can do a backflip but at the end of the day if all you can do is backflips and run fast you're not going to make a good wrestler and that's where the Ultimate Fighter comes in, man. They have real athletes fighting each other for the contract. And it's a really ingenious idea because each season that it airs, it brings in all these new exciting, uh, you know, ca not characters, but like, you know, real people into the sport that we call MMA. And uh, we get to see new faces each season. Uh, some are hilarious, some are crazy, some are psychotic. And uh, a lot of people find the ultimate fighter really amusing to watch now so do you watch it i'm going to tell you the truth uh i'm not that big of a fan of uh reality television series except for survivor man i have a sweet tooth for survivor because it was like one of the first uh reality tv shows and i'm addicted addicted to survivor also the ultimate fighter is shown on spike tv it's a premium tv channel and i'm uh you know i'm a little bit on the cheap side don't watch too much television television so you know I can't afford the spike TV but uh, I've been watching it online uh, <laughs> just uh, last season you know I rewatched all the amazing fights people told me to go watch obviously I didn't take in uh, you know the fights as much because I was emotionally attached uh, but they're still amazing fights aka uh, Stephen Bonner and uh, you know uh, Forrest Griffin do you watch it? I just started, man. Uh, just because I can watch it free online. Started uh, last, not last, se yeah, I'm pretty sure it's last season. Uh, you know, Big Country won it, Kimbo Slice. Uh, and then my favorite season, I can only pick from the two because honestly, that those are the only two that I watched, you know, all the way throughout. It's either, uh, who, who, uh, Tito, no, not, T yeah, Tito Ortiz, Chuck Liddell, Rampage vs. Rashad. I gotta go with Rampage from Rashad, man. Uh, Rampage's uh, dialogue, you know, whatever you want to call it, smack talk with Rashad. They're hilarious. Uh, I was very interested to see what Kimbo Slice would do on the show. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a very, very good season. And finally, Brandon asks, are you excited for GSP versus Koscheck? Uh, I'm excited more for Koscheck. I, I, I'm really fascinated by like trash talkers for some reason. Uh, I find them like really compelling to watch. GSP's probably gonna do his like whole good guy act, and you're just gonna be like, oh man, come on, get back to Koscheck. Koscheck's probably gonna get. I'm gonna say 70% of the airtime. GSP like 20, 20. 5% and the 5% is just going to go to the other fighters. I can see Koscheck talking a lot and uh, I'm going to be enjoying it uh, for the entire season. So what are your guys' thoughts on the Ultimate Fighter? Please leave, leave me a comment below. Love to hear your guys' thoughts on this topic. Uh, until then, uh, that's my video. And uh, guys, Bruce Lee's uh, death date is today. So, you know, big props to that guy. Uh, he brought in a lot of martial arts uh, you know, the whole concept of MA is having 
all the styles clash together and Bruce Lee was a pioneer of the whole idea. Uh, Juke Kondo, uh, yeah man, the guy did a lot. You know, He brought in a whole generation into martial arts just because of his movies. So uh, yeah, rest in peace and uh, thank you for watching my video.